Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 83 of Direwolf20's server play series. Hanging out, kind of by myself today. Uh, Tilo's taking a day off, unfortunately wasn't available. Um, today, I have a goal in mind. I would like to build an automation system to stock these guys with the TNT that they're going to need. And I think I can do it in a very efficient way, because I think upper left slot only. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to want. Boom. If I populate this stuff here, I would like to autofill these things with TNT. And I'd like to build a system to make it as automated as possible. Um, now, there's a couple approaches I could go with. Um, I kind of want to see what I want to get myself into with this. So there's a couple approaches I could go. So obviously TNT requires two things, sand and um, gunpowder, right? Uh, now, sand, I've actually was flipping through all the different ways to get sand. You can smelt quicksand, probably not a good option. The sag mill is kind of an option, but we would need two of them because we'd have to go cobble to gravel, which, uh, you know, there's only a 10% chance of getting sand out of that directly, um, and then gravel um, to sand. And so you'd need two sag mills, but you can do it with a cobble gen, which is like, that would be cool, right? Um, so that's an option. The other thing that we could do, though, uh, for sand is the Tome of Alakestry. So the Tome of Alakestry is from Reliquary, and it basically um, gets charged with, I think, redstone, and you can use it to dupe stuff. Um, so it uses up a bunch of uh, resources to kind of duplicate other resources, and it basically, you know, is kind of like an... Oh, man, you can even dupe nether stars. So broken. <laughs> I probably wouldn't use it for much else, because, like, I don't know doubling resources or doing that a lot is crazy but sand you get like half a stack's worth um so it's basically converting redstone to sand which to me sounds like not the worst transition in the world like that seems doable so that might be a good way to get sand now uh the other thing we want to get is gunpowder so what are some options for that so catalyzing gland eye of the storm these are things that are dropped uh by mobs tome of alkestry can also do gunpowder oh, that might not be a terrible option i kind of didn't think that through i was actually thinking like maybe make a mob spawner right for, for creepers. Um, we can also alchemy catalyst flint into gunpowder for a decent amount of mana. Um, alchemy table. So, I mean, maybe Tome of Alakestry? And I wonder if I could have the same crafter do the Tome of Alakestry for gunpowder and sand. How crazy would that be? So let's just try it. I actually don't know. Uh, so we're missing a few things. We're missing an Eye of the Storm which is a rare drop from creepers affected by looting when powered, killed by a player. When powered. Wow, when powered. Okay. Um, so I need to get, okay. So I made a book, easy, right? So the only thing I need to do is go find a creeper that's been struck by lightning. So I can do this because I've got this. Um, and we've got looting three on our sword. And do I still have a infusion, regeneration, place line, break seven above and below? Let's get smite. Whoosh. So I think I might even have a smite spell handy, right? Break nine by nine by three, closed door, open door. Didn't I have a smite spell somewhere? Spectator mode. Um, so we can just do smite, and that only needs a positional vector. So entity position, it's been a while. Um, and target entity, what entity options? Entity look, focused entity, random entity, turret. Um, It's been so long since I played with Psy, I kind of forget. Um, selector. I could just do nearby entities, right? Um, that could be a thing. That's for bullets, if I remember correctly. 
um, nearby enemies. I could probably just do that. That's probably the easiest one. Let's see. Selector, attack target attacker. Item presence. So probably my best bet would be nearby enemies. So that returns um, an entity list. So we want to give it an entity. So what we would probably want to do is make this random entity from a list. And then we'll get selector nearby enemies, right? So we'll say the position that we want to smite is the entity position of a random entity nearby enemies. Now we just have to give it a position and a radius. So the radius can be like, let's say two blocks. And the position will be a vector construct. No, not vector construct. Vector axis ray cast. Uh, it's been a while. It's been so long. Fasky would be very upset with me. Yeah, vector ray cast of my position. So entity position. Or I could just do where I'm looking instead of choosing an actual enemy. Why don't I do that? So wherever I'm looking, right? So we'll just do this. We'll just do uh, vector ray cast entity position and entity look of the caster, right? So do a ray cast position would be my position, ray to cast would be the entity look, and that would be good, right? So that should work. So we can overwrite the uh, break nine by nine by three, because I think I've got, don't I have that already on my side gun? I would think. Um, yeah. Break square, yeah, so, oh, break nine by nine by three I don't have, but that's okay. I can probably just, maybe I'll make a new one of these bullets. That's probably the better right way to go. Spell bullet. Yeah, iron inside dust. I guess it's not shapeless. Cool. So that should work. I was going to have it like focus the entity that I was looking at, but this should just be. Like... Yeah, that'll do. So I got to find a creeper. So I got to make it nighttime, which uh, I think I can do. Hello, nighttime. How are you? So now we just got to lightning zap a creeper, uh, kill him, and we get some good stuff, right? Uh, so creeper, creeper, wherefore art thou creepers? Usually you want no part of creepers, but today we do. Usually want no part of charging creepers. <laughs> That's fun. So maybe I should be wearing armor. Maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea at all. Yeah, I'm gonna teleport back to my base and get some armor. I didn't realize I wasn't wearing any. <laughs> I actually legitimately don't know where my armor is at the moment. That's right. These guys don't like to be done that. Cool. All right. Uh... I'm sure I have some blood magic armor, maybe. Yeah, there it is, the living armor. Found it. 
with all my awesome upgrades in place. Nice. Alright. I mean, um, I could just fly around here and fight those too. There should be creepers in this general area. Creepers? Let's go. There's one. Alright, so what I'll do is come back here in a minute when I've succeeded in getting what I want from these lightning-based creepers. Alright, so I might have missed that creeper. Yeah, I don't know about this 10% thing. I've got way more than 10 of these guys. Statistics, stop failing me. Also, I know that's not how statistics work. But still. Still nothing. Still working on it. Alright, back in a minute. Wow, there's a lot. I think I just got one. Yes, I did. Nice. Eye of the storm. So, took a lot of creepers. I got half a stack of gunpowder while working towards that. But hey, I made it. So that's what's cool. Let's pop up here. Zoop. And now we should be able to make our Tome of Alcahestry. Al Alcahestry. Cool. Now, uh, if we look at the recipe on this, we should see... Description. Shift right click to activate. While active, it will absorb any redstone and glowstone in the player's inventory. Place it in a crafting grid with certain items to duplicate them for a cost. Cool. Uh, I can probably put away these things because I don't need them at the moment. Um, and any other stuff that we don't need at the moment. So if I shift right click you, oh look, it's eating up redstone. Nice. So now there's 50. You can see it on the bottom right. Now, if I had a piece of sand, oh neat, uh, this plus this used up four redstone. So it's basically four redstone becomes half a stack of sand. Nice. Okay. That's cool. I'm down with that. Um, I should be able to automate this. So let's get a few stacks of redstone because that won't be a problem. We've got a lot of that, right? And we'll come back in a minute once this absorbs it all. So I'm gonna make the tier two crafter and we're gonna see, let's see, RF, yoink. I love these things. They're super handy for when you wanna just like do like a quick little test and not have like a whole bunch of wiring nearby. Super duper handy. Nice. Serving 10 tiles. Look at you. Ah, 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 you're serving all these, I presume. That's fine. Um, so, neat. Let's do recipes, right? So can we just do you and you for recipe one? So that'll go to... Let's make sure that we also have some bricks. Because I would like to do this. So what I'm thinking is, I don't think we can have it go to both internal and external. We'll go to the output buffer, but remaining items like buckets will stay in the input. Oh, that's cool. That's probably what I want for some of these. So I think some of them should go to internal. So what we'll do is we'll do this and this and this. And we'll also want some gunpowder. And we'll want the tome itself. And we want it to, can I put like, yeah, these guys and these guys. Let's tell you to remember, okay? Um, and then what we'll say is this plus this to internal buffer, apply. So now if I were to actually put this in here, it should craft it, ignored, slow, internal. You should be crafting right now. This is a test to see if this works and so far it's not. Ah, there we go. 
Neat. So that worked. Awesome. Okay. Um, oh, look at you go. If I put two of them there, that might work. Because I think what's happening is it's trying to move it between these two spots, maybe, I'm thinking. But we'll see. Um, so you can be internal gunpowder plus tome apply. Hmm. Oh, right. <laughs> Derp. Remember. Remember. Redstone signal ignored. Okay, that works. For some reason, it wants that extra slot there, but that's okay. So then let's try to do something with sand again. So we'll do this and the tome external C. Results of the crafting operation will go to the output buffer, but remaining items like buckets will stay in the input. Apply. That looks like it worked pretty well, right? Why'd you only go half a stack? Oh, because it, uh, yeah, because 32, it doesn't fit. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, and then this one, external C, will be the same deal, right? U plus gunpowder, external C, apply. Hey, that seems to be working pretty well. Nice. And my problem is our Tome of Alchemistry already ran out of redstone. So uh, that was quick. I wonder if there's like a way to, like, you can't do redstone blocks by chance, can you? So yeah, it can do redstone blocks, which is kind of cool. So that's neat. But it really burns through the Tome to make the gunpowder. So that's kind of good to know. Um, I mean, obviously we have tons of gunpowder. I'm just looking at automating, right? So like for now, we could just do like, hey, leave this as is. I mean, we have tons of redstone too. Like what do we have? We have 204 stacks of redstone blocks. Um, and I mean, we have 85 stacks of gunpowder. So we have a decent amount of gunpowder to last us. I'm just looking at full-blown autonomous automation, right? I want this to be as automated as possible. Meaning that... Uh, yeah, I, I want you to behave yourself, basically. Um, if I put this here, by the way, remember, that's funny. You need that empty spot, huh? For some reason, it needs an extra spot, and it won't craft if it doesn't have it. That's weird, but that's cool. We'll just remember it, and we're cool. Um, so yeah, long story short, it uses a. It doesn't use a lot for sand. It uses a lot for gunpowder, though. So we might need to keep that in mind. So I was originally thinking, let's clear this and this. I was originally thinking that I would do this and then use another auto crafting method to make the TNT, but I could just make it straight up like this, right? Like there's no reason not to. So I could just put uh, my TNT recipe here. And this just goes to the external, right? Um, and what I wouldn't mind doing is just having one TNT. Hey. And we can just say forget. TNT goes there. And we'll just put bricks here. And then remember. So then if we apply this and ignore seems to be working pretty well so do you need an empty spot too for oh hello that was supposed to be gunpowdering so let's on to activate we'll gunpowder two of these guys Ah, right, I forgot to hit remember. It's all right, K 
Can't hurt to have a little extra sand. Okay, let's try that again. Gunpowder, gunpowder, remember. Also, you guys remember. And then... Well, that's interesting. Why are you not running? Gonna have to play with this a little bit, because it's definitely being weird. Internal. Maybe it's trying to craft the gunpowder too soon. That could be the case. So I think I'm gonna switch it back to the way I had it before. So out of curiosity, I wanna see if this would work with refined storage. So what if we were to do Tome of Alakestri plus sand, even though we have like 12K of it now, gunpowder, we have a ton of it. Um, is there a way? I have to find out. Um, I think maybe only craftables. Ah, control shift will force crafting. Good to know. So let's pop this guy into here. Uh, control shift. So there's 1178. So what if I say craft one? Circular dependency, loop in processing. Okay. So this does seem to get stuck every now and then, but I th think it's probably my best bet, if I'm being honest. Charged up with a bit more redstone. So yeah, that, that, that worked. Okay, I think we'll stick with this. I'm pretty sure that breaking this, we'll do that. Okay, cool. What I think I'm going to do is actually take this crafter. You know what else I'm going to want? There's a few things, probably. Do we have any cables on us? We do. We'll put these things away for the time being. What I'm thinking is I could have the crafter, and I could have, um, I think it's called external storage, right? One of these dudes. So I need construction core, improved processor. And just a pair of chests. Cool. This might work. I don't know if chests are or dictionary. Nope, guess not. Okay, uh, so we're going to need wood. Do we have any regular wood in here? I still need to connect the system down here. I've just been lazy about running cabling. me being a bad direwolf, I will tell you that much. So I could say, and then the last thing I want to do is TNT. So this might work. And you know what else I might want is export buses. Or exporters, to use the proper terminology. So two construction cores and improved processors. I really do enjoy watching this thing. It's so cool to see like the cascading effect that happens. Nice. Okay, so let's see if we can automate this with our new favorite mod, Refined Storage. So what I'll probably just want to do is have some cables, dire wiring it up, uh, hooked up to a crafter that knows how to make TNT, 
hooked up to this crafter. Which you should be servicing. Nice. Um, hooked up to an external storage. Do I have to configure this? No, I don't think so. So external storage, that dude. So you should be able to access these slots, right? So you should be able to craft. So if I asked you to craft TNT, that shouldn't be a problem for you, okay? Uh, now the crafters act as cables in this system. So this should pass through his cabling straight through. So I shouldn't have to like have cables around it. I should be able to just connect like this. And this should work. And then T-Lope yells at me for dye wire everywhere. But that's okay. Secretly, he loves it. He loves the challenge. So we'll put you here. So redstone signal, ignore. Type items, compare damage, yes. Compare MBT, yes. And we're going to say TNT. Now, are you able to craft TNT? There's 25 in there at the moment. I would expect that you can do that. But I don't know if there's some kind of like upgrade I have to put in. Crafting upgrade? So crafting upgrade is a crafting table and upgrade in a redstone. So let's do upgrade times two. Crafting it up. I should put speed upgrades over in that auto crafting doohickey, shouldn't I? You are making things. Oh yeah, look at you go. Nice. Uh, and then while I'm at it, tables, redstone, and uh, upgrade. I forgot they didn't stack. Nice. So let's sleep. So this may or may not work perfectly. Um, the only downside is having to refill the Tome of Alakestri with redstone. And because of that, I might wind up instead having a creeper spawner. But I just kind of want to test this out and see if I can't get it going. So if I put a crafting upgrade in there, maybe? What I should probably do is borrow a grid and just tap it on here and make sure that this can actually do what I want it to do. But we're going to find out soon. Ah, oh, there's 26 TNT in there now. 27. <gasps> it's working. It actually is working. That's pretty awesome. You know what I bet it is? I bet this thing is just taking a second to craft, right? If we had a crafting monitor, we'd see the percent bar thing going up. 28, nice, okay, cool. So I should be able to put in here, a crafting upgrade, exporter TNT, cable, 24. At some point, we should see that bump up to 25. That's pretty awesome. In theory, it should bump up to 25 at some point. 30, maybe it can only do one crafting operation at a time, that crafter. I could put speed upgrades in it. 31, so I could speed upgrade that thing. Uh, we have speed upgrades, right? Thirty-four and twenty-five. Neat. Thirty-five and twenty-six. Cruising right along, huh? And this thing, not external storage, you. Uh, your sand and gunpowder is doing what I would expect you to do. That is kind of cool. And look, it's refilling itself every time. Working pretty good, guys. Gotta say. And once it hits 32 or 31, it should refill itself. Beautiful. That's what I would like to see. So yeah, Tome of Alacrestry needs the redstone recharge. Not the end of the world. It's actually pretty cool. All right, guys, so this feels like a good wrapping up point for the episode. So we will come back next time, now that we've got this automated, and start expanding. Oh, that's so awesome. 57, 64. We've got, like, totally great amounts of stuff. So you might have stopped crafting because you ran out of something. Yeah, the tome ran out. Pretty cool, though.
All right, Double 20 sending off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm going to see if I can't get that thing to be working a little bit better. Worst case, I can go with uh, pulverizing sand and, uh, you know, creeper spawns. But for now, Double 20 signing off. Take it easy.